Vito Arugia, two-time oh, state champion. How's that sound? Pretty good, but not what you want. What do you want? Four times. You want four? Yes. You want four of these. Four. You think you can do it? Yep. All right, good man. I like your confidence. You know, going into that, going into the, tonight's match, did you feel any pressure at all, or were you just kind of like go with the flow and you just wrestle your game? Just another match. Just another match. Do you, do you look, how do you look, how do you perceive pressure? Do you look at pressure and say, this is pressure, or do you just go into the match and just do what you've been taught, go with your technique and try to win matches? Uh, I really like it when there's a big stadium, a lot, large crowd, really good wrestler on wrestling. It makes me wrestle better. Uh, you know, this year, you really basically dominated everybody you've wrestled. You know, coming into the state tournament, Jesse Delvecchi, a very quality wrestler, State brought up last year. Everybody was saying if anyone could go with you know, Rusia, it would be him going into that match. You know, and you pretty much up until the end, you pretty much handled that match. You know, it was a very entertaining match, but you know, at the end there, it got a little dicey. But just to get that, you can look at scores. You let scores affect you as long as you get the W, you get the W. Well, I don't have glasses for my so I can't see the score. So. <laughs> That's probably a good thing, right? <laughs> Not even looking at checking it out. You know, next year. What are your goals going into next season besides winning another state title? Uh, I want to go undefeated again, try to work my way up to the undefeated record. Um, right now, I think I have 135 and one overall record. I want to, by the end of my senior year, I want to break 250 if that's possible. Yeah, well, listen, if anybody can do it, it's you. You come from a great family. Tell us about having a world champion as a dad, being in the house with you every day. Everybody respects him greatly around our area and around, not only around New York State, but around the world. What he's done and the commitment that he's given. Is it tough to have your dad coaching you and helping you and then also go home, or is it kind of mellow when you get home you don't talk much wrestling? Um, well, wrestling is just in our lives right now. There's not a point where we can't talk about wrestling. Um, having a dad that's a two-time Olympian, two-time Olympian champion, it's just really helped me excel from one of the little, like, scrubs wrestling in the eighth grade to, like, being one of the top kids in the country. Because I wrestle with him, and he's 40-something years old, 43, I think. And just, he could still whip my ass without even trying. <laughs> well, you know... You, you get to that point. You also wrestle smarter when you get older. You don't go through things, but we've, we've all seen film on him, and he was just amazing. I mean, just uh, not only physically and technical, technical wise with technique, but he was just a very, very smart wrestler. He was a very intelligent wrestler. People think that wrestling is really a born sport, but it's a thinking man sport. It's something you have to think and outthink your opponent. Was that? Did your dad teach you that as well? Uh, he really does teach me the technique part of wrestling. Like uh, when I when I go off instinct, I'm more of a use of wrestler. I like him and moving him around and getting a large point difference. But uh, in my finals match, I really wrestled more technical, more of a thinking way, and uh, I felt more dominant. But the, the score didn't really show that. Well, listen, two-time state champ sounds great in my book. Once again, all time six place racers. Should be arriving in 2015, 132 pounds, state champion Vito Lucia.